So as some of you may or may not know, we do sell Hemi intake manifolds for a lot of our third gen Hemis. And these are gonna be Dorman intake manifolds. They do not look exactly like your stock intake manifold. They are not supposed to look exactly like a stock intake manifold. And we've had a sudden increase in customers calling us to tell us that they think that the Dorman unit is wrong and that they want to return it. So I have got a core right there. Dustin's working on it right now. We're going to do a time lapse of us taking off the stock intake, unboxing the Dorman intake, and reinstalling that Dorman intake back onto the unit just to show you guys that, yes, they do look different, but they do fit together the way that they are supposed to, and it will help your remanufactured engine work even better than it was before. Removing the intake is extremely simple. You literally just undo the bolts that are bolting it in. This is what your intake manifold is going to ship in, this cardboard box right here. Let's open it and figure out what this looks like. Here. All right, so we've got our adapters, our adapter hose kit. This does come with instructions. If you have questions, feel free to refer back to this. All right, so I've got them side by side right now. As you can tell, they are very different visually. They, it will still fit, I promise. So you're gonna see that this is in the same location. On your old unit, you're gonna see the oil fill adapter is built into the unit. Same with the PCB adapter right here. When you get your Dorman unit, they are gonna come as two separate pieces, but they still fit into the same exact location, exactly the way your stock unit did. All right, so the other thing is that the backs of these do look a little bit different. I am gonna show you that in just a second. So there's the back of the old one. Here's the back of the new one. As you can see, that hole right there does not exist on the new one. However, on the old unit, if you take out this piece of foam, you're going to see that this actually does not go anywhere, okay? There's, there's literally no reason for air to go through there. This doesn't serve any purpose, which is part of the reason why Dorman got rid of it. So I'm gonna do a time lapse of us putting this on the core so that you guys can see exactly how it fits on there. So the other thing to note is that this does come with instructions. Feel free to read them. As you can see, we are not torquing down these bolts. So on this, when you bolt these in, it actually threads the plastic itself. And we wanted this intake to still be something that we're able to send out to a customer. So we did not torque this down to spec. You are going to wanna to do that, obviously, when you install yours. Another thing that is important is that you do not wanna screw these in in order. You're gonna to wanna to alternate sides. So as you can see, everything fits onto the stock Hemi exactly the way that it's supposed to, even though the two intake manifolds are visually different. I would also like to note that in order to uphold your warranty on these third gen Hemis, you do need to replace the intake manifold. So these intakes are known to ingest debris from the engine over time. And because they are made out of plastic, that debris can actually get baked into your intake. We would hate for you to choose only to flush the intake, only to put it on your new unit and have that debris come out and ruin your new engine. For this installation, we use the intake that you're gonna use on your cars and your Jeeps, like Magnums, 300s, Jeep Commanders, etc. There is a different style intake that you're gonna use on any pickup truck that you might be buying an intake manifold for. It looks a little different. I will pop up a picture here, um, but the same thing there. It doesn't look exactly like your stock intake manifold, but it does fit perfectly. Um, it is redesigned to help increase longevity and durability and so that you can get the most out of your new unit. 